Prepare to meet your destiny! Father, please forgive me! Our allies have begun their attack! I shall accompany you. Can you survive my dance of death? Let us meet again. Freed from the chaos. Yao Chan, you're not with Dong Zhuo. There is only one person I wish to stand by, and it is you, not Lord Dong Zhuo. Yao Chan, I believe you and your words. Come, not even the god of war can defeat me. I cannot bear to defend such a vile man! My lord, I know that you shall rise to greater heights than even the nobility could dream of. I believe in you, and I know that we can get through this as long as we stay together. You could do it, Lord Lebu. Rest now, my beloved. Diao Chan, time to start. Be careful you do not get hurt out there today. Yes. My Lord Lu Bu. I wish you a safe return. Hmm. Ah! My Lord Father. I will do everything that I can to ensure that your plan is successful. My father! You must escape, Diao Chan. You furthered the plan as best you could. You did well. Thanks to you. Dong Zhuo has met his end. Oh, Lord of Father. No. I will carry on with your plan, Father. I will make full use of my Lord Lu Bu's great strength. I shall bring about the return of the Imperial Han. I'm telling you, they seized the Emperor while I was away! How dare you accuse me when they are the traitors! Forgive me, but what evidence do we have to prove that? He fought for the Imperial Han. How can they call you a traitor to the Imperial Court? It's shameful. An insult. Do you know what can be done about this? Do you? I suggest that we find a way to prove your loyalty. I have a thought. It is rumored that Sun Jian has taken the Imperial Seal. You would be serving the court to return it. 
I believe such an act would benefit you. Yes, that's it. Retrieve the seal. Get it back from the hands of Sun Jian. Hmm. You agree that I should do this. So I'll pay a little visit to Sun Jian. Please withdraw your men. We serve the Imperial Court. There is no reason for us to fight each other. Be quiet! I don't trust you or your lies! I have my duty. You mere servants of tyranny. You will not get the seal. That is final. I tried telling them. But they do not believe me. They suspect that I am disloyal to the Han. What's that? I pleaded and pleaded with them. <laughs> don't shed tears because of them! If those fools will not listen to your words, then they will listen to my spear! If you had simply believed us, then this need not have happened. I tried to tell you... My lord! The forces of Cao Cao! They are marching towards <clears throat> us! Let him come. He can crawl right up to me. I like squashing bugs! Please don't fight with him, I'm begging! You cannot fight with someone who has the support of the Emperor! You still dare to say that? I was. I know what you would say. But still, I must. All right. Pull back the men. As you wish. You mustn't worry. I would never do anything to make you sad. Thank you. Quickly! None of these dogs are going to follow you! But you... You will not fight with Cao Cao's forces, am I right? Then I will fight in your place. I shall never let any harm come to you. Don't worry about me. There is no one who can beat me! Please wait, my lord. This battle is the largest and most dangerous we've ever been in. My advice would be that you wait until their forces have been weakened, and then join the fray. You're wasting your breath. You cannot stop him. It's not something Lord Lu Bu would even consider. Look at this. We have been forced to flee this far from the capital, but at least we can rest. What to do? A little talk, perhaps? Did you think I have no eyes? Only you can influence him. You have him right where you want him. It's not like that at all. I have no hidden purpose. I merely wish to repay the kindness I received from the man I call father. What a faithful daughter you are. I wish you well in your pursuit of your ambitions and dreams. And yet, it fills me with curiosity to speculate what his dream would be were it left to him. My Lord Lu Bu? His dream? If Dong Zhuo and Cao Cao have anything in common, it's ambition. They both were using the glory of the Imperial Han. <sighs> I wish there was a way we could return the Han to its former power and glory. Only by fighting can we achieve it. Listen. Dong Zhuo was defeated by Guile. In this battle, I will use my might to win. This will be my fight. I shall not lose. Let us go. Did he just... say... by Guile? It can't be. He couldn't have known what I was doing. Why did he say that then? Just watch. I shall drive Cao Cao's entire army from the field of battle. It will soon be over these battles that grieve you so. Please don't go yet! Please don't go yet! 
have to tell you. There's something I need to tell you. There's no need to speak. I understand. And do not worry. I shall do all in my power to help you realize your desire. My lord. Please return safely. And thank you so much. Are you sure? Diao Chan, we have brought peace back to the Han Dynasty. Isn't there something at the Imperial Court that you long to do? No. My only desire was to fulfill the dying wish of my father. That is done. Enjoy the peace of the land and leave all the rest to Master Chen Gong. Of course. But there's no guarantee that someone else won't appear and bring chaos to the land again. That should happen. No! We have done our share. We have been fighting for the longest time. My newest desire is living with you in peace. Just you and I. The time has finally arrived. Huh? What's wrong, Diao Chan? You seem very different today. What are you just standing there for? Let's get going! Oh, Lu Bu! It's you! I can't believe you're here now! But whatever! With all of you with me, I have nearly realized all of my dreams! <laughs> ah, Lu Bu! Will you break our oath? Is this how you repay me? Our oath? Ah, don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. You damn minx! You planned this, didn't you? for that swine. From now on, I walk the path I choose to walk. out your punishment. Get away from my Diao Cha! <sighs> What's this? A traitor barking orders? Such impudence! <clears throat> so this is the might of Master Lu Bu. Hmm. Just an insect being an insect. Master 
Boo. This is as far as I will go. Why, Diao Chan? We're only just getting started. I tried to repay my stepfather's kindness to me. I was the poison he sent. I am not someone you should have at your side. Even though that is what I wish? I understand. I will grant you your wish. But you must promise me one thing. Live. Live as yourself, not as poison. Not as your father's pawn. Farewell, Dio Chan. Thank you so much, Lord Yibu. I shall continue to live. My heart is with yours forever.